make you know Ninja songs, old school or new school, stand a chance to win big on Gusto Gesto song. To be a part of this, call the numbers on your screen right now. Come on board and let's do things the Gusto way. Hello guys, welcome to Gusto Reactions once again. Thank you so much for always liking and sharing and subscribing. Of course, telling your friends about what we do right here at Gusto TV. Big Lala is very much in the building today. And of course, uh, once again, I'm here to torment Big Lala. Always, always, always. Uh, I love when he says, no, ask me that kind of question again. She, I'm supposed to worry you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you're welcome. You guys know how I disturb Big Lala right here. And of course, I'm sure you guys enjoy every bit of it. Please let me know the kind of questions as you ask him. Yes, just put the just put your questions down below. Please, any question. Hey, how that be? Okay, I'll change the password. <laughs> any question you want me to ask Big Lala, just put it down below. I've got the craziest of questions. Let me ask him, of course. Uh, yeah, you know, don't, don't worry. Mind this guy, I'll beg. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you're welcome to the show today. Uh, Whiskey, of course, you know, got a record as the most, uh, you know, Shazam song in the US one time, you know, with uh, with Essence. Mm -hmm. uh, and Shazam did that one. And everyone carried it on the head, Whiskey fans and all of that. But, but somewhere, 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 a certain Nigerian artist, Signed to Warner Music, formerly to Chocolate City, a former producer. His name, CK, is also getting a very massive record on his own. Now, someone said CK has the most Shazam song in, not in Africa, not in Europe, not in Australia, not in the whole wide world. How possible is that? And how is that missing on the radar of a lot of people? Well, I want to start off with how possible is it? Of course, it's possible. Mm. In this uh, streaming or digital age, uh, if you're going to say that mm. every viral thing now passes through or either of these apps, Thriller, TikTok, mm. and things. And you know, what these apps have in common is they all link back <coughs> to Apple Music, yeah. right? And then from there, people get to find out oh, what song is this is being used and everything. And then Apple Music themselves, mm. Apple themselves, yeah. have gone further to buy Shazam. Yeah. So integrating <coughs> Shazam to a lot of things is is quick for them. Including Apple Music to a lot of things is easy peasy for them. So usually Shazam has grown in leaps and bounds when since they came to the. I mean, they've been around for quite a while, but they've they've grown. Yeah. And now they're, they're the number one go to. Up when it comes to oh, let me find out Searching what, for what new song, music. Uh, is is this that I'm listening to? Yeah. So if for example a, a scenario is oh somewhat a song is being used by a lot of people on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, or perhaps they are not even using the actual delivered <coughs> uh, song on that platform. Hmm. What's the other way of finding out what song you're use, they are using in that platform? It's Shazam. Mm -hmm. And Shazam has been, I mean, it's instrumental and people have been using that a lot to find out that what is this record that i'm listening to and where where are they seeing those records from it's from all these apps instagram stories instagram news uh tiktok thriller mm. facebook stories or mm -hmm. people stories for there mm -hmm. there's, there's something viral that's going on in those spaces and shazam is people's go-to in finding out what this record is mm -hmm. and, i mean who sang it mm -hmm. and that's why it's number one on the world uh, charts or world or the global charts of Shazam. Mm. So, uh, Lala, Lala, Lala. My own is, my own is. We talk about Davido's record mm -hmm. a lot, yeah. even right here. Yeah. We talk about Whiskey's record a lot, right here. See what's happening, James, mm -hmm. Bonaboy, CK has this, mm -hmm. and until a fan came up to say it, until he came up to say it as well. Yeah. We don't seem to be celebrating this guy or this record. No, it's not about not celebrating him. No, there are two things involved. Obviously, CK is two not, things involved. <laughs> obviously, first thing, CK is not levels with Bona, mm. with or with the other guys. Yeah. He's not on that level. He doesn't have as much as a fan base as them. Yeah. So most most times these guys don't even have to do anything in terms of PR. Mm. I mean the only Thing they have to do is just technical payouts or oh, placements and things like that. But in terms of disseminating the information of what is going on with them, mm. 
they don't usually have to do it, right? They rely on their massive fan base to yeah. spread the news and blow their trumpet. Yeah. And that's the advantage they have over a CK. So if a CK, second thing, that's second thing, if a CK sees this and realizes, it's, you have to be self-aware to realize that almost any small thing I do that I think is big, that's a big record. Mm. I, mean, I have to do all the takes to blow that trumpet, yeah. either by myself or using other medium. This sort of um, behavior mm. is what Chocolate City didn't used to do a lot. Like they, they, I don't know, maybe they were cash trapped or something. Mm. But they didn't know how to shout or blow the trumpet of their artist to the maximum. Mm. Even if they had the means and they had the pedigree as, mm. as a label, mm. as been artist in Nigeria for years, they didn't used to do it. So if Warner Music does have CK on their label, mm -hmm. see something like this happening, mm. and they don't feel, oh, this is something, oh, we need to shout mm. or invest in and say, oh, let's get it out there in every, every news or platform, every yeah. blog that this is happening. You don't, sometimes you don't even have to pay, you just have to bring it to the attention of the people. Yeah. It's important to have those kind of people, people who have the connect, who is just going to spread the information. Or mm. You don't even have to reach out to everybody, just reach out to a few. And then the rest of the other ones before we'll you make things, yeah. things have gone viral. Mm -hmm. So they can't come out and start blaming Nigerians or people that oh nobody's mm. talking about it because it's okay. Nah, you first do your homework. Are you shouting? Are you blowing your own trumpet? Are you doing the normal prayer you're supposed to do? If something like this is big, is huge, you only take is one person. These days people they don't even waste their time. They just maybe do a two dead knots mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. you know it's because news on all the Passful. other platforms. So just because you want to be lazy about your work, you can't come and blame Nigeria. But we say, but but are you trying are you trying to say that he's lazy about the work? No, it's not him. It's the label. It's not CK. Hmm. People who are handling him. This they're the ones who they're supposed to think forward. Since this record had been number three, number two, before it got to number one, it's they when it's not been shouting it. But they yeah. didn't. Now uh, now before you know the, the the previous slide before they say top songs being discovered around the world right now. Global top 200 who made it on the list of most Shazam songs worldwide. Yes, yes, bro. Yes. And at number one, beating the likes of Kill Roy, Elton one. John, mm -hmm. J Balvin, Ed Sheeran, Leonas is sick. Like, it's, 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 it's mind blowing mm -hmm. to see CK at the top of this, featuring Axel and DJ Yo. I don't know. I don't know. This is really, really, really massive. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is big, a big win for Alphabet, yeah? Yes, of course, it's a big win for Alphabet. And let's not forget that this was what um, James Alema also topped. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what's the name of this guy? Just the name of James Alema guy, I don't forget. Oh, yeah, um, 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 Master KG, Master yeah, KG. Master KG. Yeah. yeah, he's also had a world, I mean, this most Shazam, yeah. Mo, uh, Shazam's at one period. Yeah, at one period, yeah. Pakistan and another to you. Yeah. But CK zone is is very it's, for us Nigerians. We should be really really happy about this because this record was what 2000 and was it 19? I mean, for the first time, it's, it's not, not a it's not, it's not a Bonner boy. It's not a whiskey. It's not it's not the like the someone regular new. faces. Yes, yeah. someone new, and that's a major win. Yeah, yeah. And let's not forget that this particular song is the revelation of CK. 2019. Yeah, it's the revelation so, of CK mm -hmm. because CK um, when this song had been released. People didn't really pay much attention. Yeah, yeah. Until you start seeing this again, we have to always relate it to this about in both of you. Until you start seeing them vibing to it, mm. enjoying it, and then things are going viral. So there's a lot of things, a lot of things people need to jot down when it comes to this thing. If you are lucky enough to get your music viral in those in, the, places, in those places, when after yeah. This, uh, appear out to anybody they find it easy to use then it's, it's a regular app for them songs yeah. like this would always come your way and this is a big win for ck is a big very win very big win anyways uh you know um you think uh ck should be a bit you know should feel hard done by looking at the fact that uh you know people aren't because of course a tweet you know about him saying oh i don't care someone said Oh, why is CK's love wanting to not train all over? This song just made this the most Samsung in the world. He said, eh, Well, I don't care about the industry that don't support me. Uh, I'm glad for people like David O, Don Jazzy, the few people who support and know the talent and everything. Is he feeling entitled? The industry doesn't support him. Well, he's saying that he doesn't care about the many people that don't support him. He's good with the very little people that support him, likes of David O. He mentioned David O and Don Jazzy. That apart, that apart from all those and a few you know people that is fine with that you know he is trying to say that okay you know what i don't i don't i'm not about the boss or the hype and everything i just do my thing myself and that's about it 
Well, this has happened and it's a win for him. Mm. But going forward, I feel we should have someone on this team who is more of a visionary because mm. things like this are what shapes people's perception and mind over you and over your music. Definitely. Right? And if you're able to always, I mean, this, this is a good news, right? If you're able to disseminate this information before it becomes a thing that, oh, maybe people are not talking about it, mm. it's a win for you. Definitely. I mean, that's where. Again, there needs to be people who are thinking forward, forward yeah. on his team yeah. who are going to, I mean, all these subject things. You, you think in as much when a, a producer as small as, uh, what's his name, Lexi, right? Lexi is small? No, like in terms of what I'm trying to describe. Okay, okay. Someone like Rexy, who has, you know he's big on the street and everything. Well, every little thing Rexy does, if he's not saying it by himself, he has a team of people who are going around spreading that news. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, people are saying it. He, he didn't even have to come out to say, oh, he produced on uh, Burner Boy's album. album. Yeah. But he already has a team of people saying it. So if you're close to getting this sort of milestone, then people around you should be you say it, this you information. Say it, you say it. Sharp, sharp. Even mm. before it comes out of your own mouth. So that when it now happens, you're not be like, oh, wow, you did this guy, yeah, thank you, definitely. and everybody's talking about it. Definitely. It's smart thinking, but obviously, nobody on this team. Anyway, shout out to, you know, Siki, shout out to his management, The Plug, uh, who are doing, you know, great things uh, at the moment alongside, you know, with David o and the rest of them. Guys, let's have your thoughts on uh, that one. CK, of course, the most Shazam song in the world at the moment, doing that with Love One Thing, featuring DJ Yo and, of course, Axel. Let's have your thoughts. Why exactly are people not talking about this one? Why are, why are Nigerians, you know, being silent on this? CK has responded to, you know what? I don't care how many people, you know, support me. I'm cool with likes of David O, Don Jazzy, and a few people that support me. Every other person can. Pew. Ah, yeah. Uh, let's have your thoughts on that one. What do you think? Put your comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.